So it's early October here in South Florida, which means East Coast mullet run. And one of the most effective baits for snook and tarpon during the mullet run is the Ozuri Mag Darter. Uh, the Mag Darter might be a plug that you're not really familiar with if you're from South Florida. It's something that for the Northeast has been a very popular style of bait for a long time. They're very familiar with it, but it's gaining popularity here in South Florida because of its effectiveness, particularly for snook and tarpon. Um, and it's a great bait during the mullet run. Reason for that is the shape of the bait itself. As you can see in both sizes here, the shape of the bait is a little bit fatter. And with the head of the bait being wide like this, it's a pretty much an exact match for a finger mullet or a silver mullet. Uh, the head of the bait is slanted, which gives it its action. So the head of the bait's the actual lip. What that does is give it a really unique swimming kind of darting type action. So every six or 12 inches, it kind of has a dart to the left or the right, you know, two to three inches, which is mirrors what a, how a mullet swims and it's different than the other plugs that the fish are seeing. Uh, another advantage of having that slanted head is it gives you a lot of leeway when you're bouncing it off of pilings. If you bounce it off of rocks, you're not gonna break the lip off like you will on plugs with a, a clear plastic lip. Um, the way that I fish mag darters is I get up current, especially at night if I'm fishing shadow lines where the fish are staging during the mullet run. I'll get up current of the shadow line and I'll cast out into the light and I'll let it swing into the shadow line. You wanna try to keep it uh, swimming slowly right along that shadow line, anywhere from six inches within the shadow line to six inches outside the shadow line. That's kind of uh, your target area. Um, it swims very, very well against the current. Um, even a very strong current, it's not gonna kick out. And it swims very well cross current with a nice lazy uh, wobbling action like a mullet swimming cross current. Um, with the current, it won't have barely any action at all. So you wanna be pulling it against the current or cross current. Another place where I really like to fish this during the mullet run and is first light or um, evening as the sun's going down uh, along the rocks at the inlet. The technique for that is to throw down current and pull it back against the current as close to the rocks as possible. A lot of the bites you'll get, you'll bounce it off of a rock and the fish will see it bounce off the rock and they'll eat it then. Uh, the snook, jacks, tarpon, they like to push bait up the mullet up against the rocks, pin them up against the rocks so they can't escape. Um, so it's a great target area and it also isolates your plug. So if you're fishing the mullet run and there's a giant school of bait in the inlet or uh, just out in the open in the river or the beach, it's pretty tough to get a bite. Uh, you're gonna cast and cast and cast and you might get some bites but it's, it's gonna be few and far between because it's kind of that needle in a haystack problem. Um, by pulling it right along the rocks or fishing it right along the shadow line, you isolate your bait from the rest of the school which makes it stand out and puts it in the target area for fish. Um, this bait comes with 3X trebles. It's something that you don't have to replace any of the treble hooks. Even if you're using heavy braid, 50, 65 pound test braid, um, you don't have to change out any of the components on it. The one thing that you do when you're rigging it, one tip I would give you if you haven't fished this type of bait before, is you need to fish it with either a loop knot or with some type of, of clip that will give it the freedom to swim back and forth because it doesn't come with a split ring. Um, so you need to, so if you rig it with a straight knot tightened down to the eye, it's not gonna swim properly. But with that loop knot or a clip, it has a great swimming action, really effective uh, bait. And the other thing about it, the unique property is the magnetic weight transfer system. So it has a magnet in the front, has a weight with it. When the back of your cast, it snaps to the back of the bait so it flies straight even through a really strong headwind. Um, Great distance, great swimming bait, mirrors the mullet really well. It's a bait that I've used effectively for a number of years and other people are really starting to notice. Available at a lot of your local tackle shops now in South Florida and also available online. Check tackledirect.com, bassproducom or any of your other online retailers you like to use.